Hi, on this lesson we will discuss how to build the comments list using the ASP repeater control. Each item in this list has a user's first name, last name, the profile picture, the comment title, the comments body, the likes and dislikes given to this comment, and the user rate. We will build a control panel as well beside each comment to enable the comments creator to edit or delete it. If the current user is an admin, The admin is the only one who has the full rights to edit or remove any comments created by other members that might be unsuitable. I will first copy this image that I'm going to use as a waiting indication inside the images folder. Okay, then open the file design.aspx and let's first start by adding the SQL data source and after the first panel I will add my SQL data source. So I will go to design and go to toolbox and add the SQL data source. Our SQL data source will have the ID of SQL repeater comment. Okay. And click here to configure the data source and choose the default connection. Next. Next. So let's select all the columns from this table and only the first name, last name and picture from the second table and let's give each table an alias here. So the design comment I will give it an alias of C capital and the other table I will give it an alias of U capital as U and in order for these fields to refresh I will click on OK then click on the query builder again now all the field names got the table alias at the beginning separated by a dot sign but we still need three more pieces of information here the number of likes the comment has taken the number of dislikes the comment has taken and also the user rate for this particular design and there is no other way to retrieve this information except through creating subqueries in this case I prefer to continue writing my query inside SQL Server to benefit from the intelligence and trace any potential syntax errors as well. I will declare a parameter here. So declare something called add design id which is integer and equals to 3 for example. Okay. I have here only one condition where c which is a comment table dot design ID equals add design ID order by C dot publish date descendingly so the recent comments will appear at the top now it's time for the subqueries so select count of for example comment ID this is a comment like dislike table you can choose here any field in order to count it doesn't matter so I will choose for example count of comment ID okay from data dot design comment like dislike as I will give it an alias of for example L capital where this is very important L dot comment ID equals C dot comment ID and L dot status equals true as status here is a boolean field as likes I will copy this subquery and paste it and uh, with changing one little thing here which is the one I will replace it with zero and I will type here dislikes the third subquery is the rate so I will type here select as you know there is a table here called design rate and this is its columns rate from data dot rate as r capital 
where r dot design id equals add design id and r dot user id equals c dot user id okay as read okay now let's execute this query and see if there is any errors okay perfect so as you can see here the number of likes dislikes the rate now let's copy this query here and paste it here actually we shouldn't have copied the declare line control C control V okay click on next and the design ID should be related to the query string ID next test the query for the value of 3 press ok now let's click on finish and now it's time to build the repeater and since the repeater markup is too long I have already prepared it in, in a notepad file so I will copy it as it is and paste it here before the SQL data source control V and let's discuss what's happening here there is a new dev here called dev comments inside it there is another panel called panel brief comments as you know the panel is usually rendered as a dev element and this is the style of the panel this is a repeater and this is the item template inside the repeater this is a user rate dev element this is also the user first name and last name will be beside each other in a string dot format function and this is a profile picture of the user and so on so nothing special about this uh, repeater now let's rebuild our project and refresh our page okay now as you can see here all the previous comments has been piled up and if you right click any comment here so each comment is inside a dev element which has a class of dev comment so as you can see there is four dev comments here for a total of four comments and this is a control panel if you right click inspect this is a control edit and this is a control delete there is two additional controls here which is a control ok and the control cancel those two controls will only be visible after the user clicks on the control edit as we will see on the next lesson so if you want to see how this control ok and control cancel looks like just remove the display none this is the control ok which will uh, confirm the comments edit and this is the control cancel which will discard any comment edit okay by now they are invisible but actually where is the rate here if you right click inspect and search for the rate this is a user rate the user rate has an attribute called data dash rate equals 4 but the div element itself is empty so we need to apply the rate plugin over this div element actually we need to apply the rate plugin over each dev element carries the class of user rate so, so let's do that exactly like we have done on the previous lesson so we will go to the JS design.js and at the end here let's actually type comments list okay and I will do this within the context of a function and I will show you the reason behind that on the next video for now I will define a new function called update user rates so let's copy the class user rate now jQuery dot user rate dot each function and let's type here i which is the index of each object and the object itself now for each object apply the rate plugin with the following properties so the path the size the star of the star on is gonna be the same but I will type three additional properties the first one is no rated message so in case 
there is no rate mentioned there will be a message here like not rated yet this message will appear in a form of tooltip okay the second property is read only and I will set it to true the third property is the score so the score will have the value of remember data dash read okay so let's type here let's define the rate first so var rate equals the object dot data rate semicolon and the score here will be equal to read okay so this is the end of the function and on page load I want this function to run and this line shouldn't be here it should be here okay let's save all let's refresh our page okay perfect now we have one more task to accomplish as we want the appearance of the control panel to be exclusive for both the comments creator and the admin so let's do that by going to the design.aspx page and press the F7 key and for the repeater comments choose the item data bound so this will check every item inside the repeater command and decide whether to display the comment control panel or not because as you know in the design here there is something called div comment control panel which is a panel item so let's go here and type the following dim div control panel as panel equals e dot item dot find control dev comment control panel so let's paste its name here and it's a good practice to cast the found control to its proper control type now I will type if e dot item dot data item the ID so now I'm checking the user ID user ID dot to string not equals user dot identity dot get user ID and not user dot is in role admin then dev control panel dot visible equal false now let's rebuild our solution and refresh our page refresh and okay all the control panels has gone now let's log in as Samir s login return to the same design okay Samir has a control panel for his own comments now let's log off and log in as an administrator okay now the admin has the ability to edit or remove any comment on a later video we will write the code that handles the edit delete like and dislike click events thanks for watching if you like the video please press like